In this video, we will show you how to replace your upstream O2 sensor on this Honda Accord. This will be located along the front of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we need to mention is you do want to make sure that your exhaust is cool to the touch. We're going to be working directly along the side of it. Now with that said, along the manifold, you're going to find the O2 sensor. It's screwed right into it. If you were to follow that electrical wiring, you're going to find your connector. The connector has a locking tab. Squeeze it in and disconnect the wiring harness. A quick inspection for corrosion along both sides, and we'll set that aside. Now we can start removing the O2 sensor from the exhaust pipe. If you happen to have a deep O2 sensor socket, you'll be using that. More commonly, people will have a shorter O2 sensor socket. If that's the case, you have to go ahead and remove the shield from around the exhaust manifold. You'll find that you have three 12 millimeter headed bolts to remove. One down along the bottom and two along the top. Start with the bottom. Inspect your mounting hardware, replace it as necessary. Take hold of the shield. We're going to start pulling it away from the engine and slide it towards the passenger side to remove the O2 sensor from it. Should be able to slide this right on out of here. A quick inspection of the shield, set it aside. Now we can continue on with our O2 sensor socket. We'll be turning this counterclockwise. There it is, friend. Now that we have the O2 sensor out of there, we'll use some fine sandpaper, give this a light scuffing, and a quick inspection. It's time for installation of our brand new upstream O2 sensor. Confirm you have anti-seize on the threaded portion, but not on the sensing agent. Continue on by starting this in by hand and snugging it up. While we tighten this, let's be extremely careful not to cause any damage to our wiring. Right there is bottomed out. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Confirm you're completely bottomed out. With that installed, we'll continue on with our shield. We want to make sure that we have the wiring for the O2 sensor making its way through the port on the shield itself. Just have to work this down in here, being extremely careful not to cause any damage to that brand new O2 sensor. Just flex things as needed. Align the shield, install all three of your 12 millimeter headed mounting bolts. Once they're all in there, you can go ahead and snug them up. I'm gonna snug the bottom first, make my way up. Once you're sure that's secured, we'll continue on with the connector for the O2 sensor. Press it in, listen for a click. Double check, make sure it's completely secured. Okay friend, we finished the installation of our upstream O2 sensor. At this point, you want to hop in the passenger compartment, start up the vehicle, let it run for a little while, make sure you have no check engine light, no running condition, and then you can take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.